Tanophora are a phylum of marine invertebrates, also known as comb jellies. They live in oceans throughout the world, such as the Indian, Atlantic, and Pacific Ocean. Tenophoria are known for their eight rows of cilia, which propels them through the moving water. They are the largest animals to move entirely by cilia. Other groups of Tenophora include the sea gooseberries and sea walnuts. They are approximately five centimeters wide and vary in length. The gooseberry is more round, whereas the sea walnut is concave at the top. Since tenophores can survive in both warm and cold areas, they can inhabit all oceans and seas across the globe. Tenophora are commonly found on the surface of the water. They are one of the most abundant species far from shore on the surface of the water. Tenophores can also be found washed up on the beach right after a high tide. Tenophores are hermaphroditic, meaning they contain both male and female reproductive structures. They shoot their sperm and eggs into the surrounding water where the fertilization process occurs. This reproductive process begins at night when water temperature reaches around 66 to 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Tenophora feed off plankton which stick to their cilia. Their feeding process is initiated by waving their cilia around to create currents that capture surrounding plankton to move them to the tenophora's mouth. The food is guided to the digestive cavity where the plankton is digested through secretions of gland cells in the endoderm. The process of water diffusion is how nutrients, gas exchange, and elimination of waste take place within the tenophora's body. Tenophora are protostomes, meaning their mouths form first and then anus after. The radial symmetry of tenophores is correlated to the differentiation of neurons. Their body may be divided into two similar parts by passing a plane along the central axis. While this is the simplest form of symmetry in invertebrates, it also represents evolutionary progress within their morphology when compared to the lack of symmetry in sponges. In distinction from sponges, their form is clearly determined. They have evolved dioblastly, meaning the development of two embryonic layers, the endoderm and the ectoderms. In terms of migration, Tenaphora are not known for migrating at all. They also do not have larvae. Most Tenaphora live past one month. However, their lifespan usually does not exceed three years. With regards to relationships of Tenophores and humans, they had a negative impact in the 1980s when Tenophora rapidly grew and took over the ecosystem of the northwestern Atlantic. However, they are not harmful to us since they do not possess stinging cells in their cilia like jellyfish have in their tentacles. In our 16S phylogenetic tree, Nadaria and Tenophora are presented as sister taxa. In the data matrix phylogenetic tree, they are similar and share a common ancestor, but are not presented as sister taxa with Nadaria. Xenophoras are divided into two categories, pelagic and benthic. The genetic difference between pelagic and benthic stenophores is actually far greater than the difference between humans and sea urchins. Therefore, it is difficult to position stenophores in phylogenetic trees under the terms of molecular analysis. If we take a look at fossils, paleontological analysis of Zhao and colleagues provides strong support for a sister group relationship between tenophores and cnidarians. Previously, both taxa were grouped under as cholinterata. However, molecular phylogenetic analysis does not show a strong support for this grouping. This explains why our molecular 16S phylogenetic tree differed from both the data matrix tree and the published phylogenetic tree. <laughs>